Tell me what you say now. Tell me what you say. Come again. If you can. Today we are about to go to Target. But first we're gonna go get some lunch because when I feel sad, I like to go get something to eat. So we want to go get some pizza. Don't y'all say nothing in the comments about me wanting to get no pizza because pizza makes me happy. And I feel like, you know, you gotta have something to make you happy. And pizza makes me happy, so let's go. You need me. See, this is part of the reason why I keep gaining so much weight, y'all. Godly. You see my outfit in the mirror. I mean, the reflection. Y'all, this place is so good. They have like a pizza bar, a pizza buffet, really. But since the pandemic, they don't have the buffet anymore. So you just have to order your pizza and they'll just bring it to your table. Let me show you. $11, you can get the, the lunch combo, which includes the salad, a soup, pasta and pizza and all of it is like unlimited of course you can't eat that much like who can really eat a whole bunch of this stuff at one time but that's a really good deal only eleven dollars car mount for my camera the one that i had <clears throat> i don't know i think the heat melted it or something that thing is towed up so uh, how would they have one at five below oh my gosh these people are not wearing their masks y'all do y'all still wear y'all masks because a lot of people around here around houston they're not wearing their masks Wow, they have so many to choose from. I think I kind of want this one, like the one that goes on the windshield, but I don't know. They have the air vent one, the sticker one, that one, a magnetic one. Oh, this is hard. And they have a cup holder one. They have so many. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna get this one. This is the one that's gonna just stick on the dashboard. Let's see how this works, cause I feel like it probably, <laughs> it's probably gonna fall off or something. <clears throat> but then I'm not gonna be mad if it falls off cause it's only $5, so we gonna see. That was a success. So oh, here we go. The stick on smartphone. <laughs> Let's open this thing and see if it actually works. Okay, I know this angle is like not the best, but let's see. I need this to put y'all on the dashboard. So 
I need some scissors. Why? Why every time you get something like this, it's like hell getting inside the package? <laughs> oh my gosh! After all this trouble I'm going through, this thing better work. Hey, <laughs> when people pass by your car, they always look at you. It's so weird. Oh my gosh! I really cannot get this thing open, y'all. What? I'm gonna need to go home and get a razor blade. You know what? I'm getting in this thing today. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a pen. I'm gonna use a pen to get in here. Oh my God! Oh, it's so hot. Jesus, can you please open this? Oh, it's working. Okay. The pen actually works. that part off so here it is all this is supposed to like stick on anywhere in your car dashboard window that's what it says let's see so I'm gonna peel this off oh shoot let's see if it works and it's supposed to be like removable let me Okay, and then you can like turn it whichever way and you're supposed to be able to like take it on and like on it off wherever so it's like we put it here it's not it doesn't have to be stuck there so I'm gonna take it off put it right here oh right here <laughs> ah okay take it off where else can I put it I'm gonna put it back right here So it looks like it's a success, y'all. Okay, I like this little five dollar car mount. I was gonna order one off Amazon, but I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I got this one. Oh, so now we have to go pick up my daughter from school. And you know, if y'all have kids that are in um, school, are the lines really long? Like y'all, it takes forever to get through the car rider line at the school it's so depressing like you can sit there at least for 45 minutes before you can get your child it's ridiculous and they don't have a school bus to take the kids like two years ago they had a school bus for my daughter um you know they came to the neighborhood picked her up to go to school right they apparently created some sidewalks and all this stuff in my neighborhood so so now they're like oh i need to go to target oh yeah i'm gonna go to target so now they're like uh, we can't take your child to school anymore because you know there's sidewalks and you live too close to the school I'm like what you want my eight-year-old child to walk a mile and a half to go to school i think not that's too far for a little kid i think yeah even i wouldn't want to walk a mile and a half to go to school every every day like you know when i was a kid i did walk to school with the, like my cousins and my friends and stuff but it, i don't think it was a mile and a half Yeah, you almost hit me. Crazy. Whew. That man almost hit my car. <laughs> I almost forgot I need to go to Target because y'all had recommended something to me. Um, y'all actually recommended a few things to me that I wanted to pick up at Target. So we're gonna go in there and get that right now. Hopefully it's not too crowded and then I can go pick up my daughter. I still have time. I still have like an hour. It's only 2.15. I usually like to go to her line, to the school line, and wait at like 3.15. So, I could go ahead and go to Target, get what I need to get, and still make it to the line in time. So, let's go. Hi there. How are you doing today? Hello. How are you? <laughs> We're in Target. I love Target. Oh, wow. How cute is this? Oh. This is huge. Look at this huge candle. It's like bigger than my hand.
Okay, I need to get some uh, anti-nausea anti-nausea bands, okay? That's what somebody recommended. Anti-nausea bands. It was another weird thing that somebody recommended. They said if you sniff alcohol, like rubbing alcohol, when you are nauseous, then that will help the nausea go away. Let me know down in the comments below if any of y'all had tried that. See, why you gotta come to Target and see stuff and you be like getting stuff that you don't need? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna just keep walking. <laughs> All right, I think we found it, y'all. C band comfort and accuracy. Okay, this one. I think. Oh, they have this for. Yeah, but this is what somebody recommended, so I'm gonna get this. It's only nine dollars. So let's hope this little baby does something. Cause I have um, chemo tomorrow. I don't think I told y'all that, huh? Yep, tomorrow is the second round of the Red Angel. So, I'm not looking forward to that, but hey, it is what it is. Okay, let me get out of here before I buy some more stuff that I don't need. <laughs> I came home to this beautiful arrangement. Look at this. Look at this beautiful box. Let's get into this velvet box, though. Look, it says Rose Forever. Let me open it for y'all. So y'all can just see how beautiful these roses are. Oh my gosh. Ah, look, y'all, it's nine beautiful roses in this beautiful velvet black box. Rose Forever, New York. Ah, they're so pretty, y'all. Thank you so much, Rose Forever, for sending me these roses. And I want to give these to one of my pink sisters because they are so gorgeous. And the smile that I had on my face when I first got them at my door, I was like, I was like smiling from ear to ear, y'all. Like, seriously, they are so pretty. Oh my gosh, just look. Stunning. Oh, I just love them. So I want to give these away. Um, because yeah i just want another pink sister to have the same good feeling and good vibes that i have right now and i already know who i'm going to give it to and because she sent me an email and she was like when i did the other video like unboxing the stuff that you guys sent me in my p.o box and i was like she sent me an email she was like i wish somebody would do that for me um you know i wish i had some type of care package like that and i was like this is perfect i'm gonna send this to her girl if you're watching this be on the lookout because you're gonna get a beautiful bouquet at your doorstep okay and i already have all her information so but that's gonna be the end of the video y'all i'm so tired from being out in the heat but i'll be vlogging tomorrow at chemo so hopefully this round goes better than the last round. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.